1. Choose the right socket for your Quintel or AMD. First, decide whether you're using an Intel or AMD processor. Each processor type requires a compatible socket. Common Intel sockets, LGA1700 for 12th and 13th Gen Intel CPUs. LGA1200 for 10th and 11th Gen Intel CPUs Common AMD sockets, AM5 for Ryzen 7000 series AM4 for Ryzen 5000 and below make sure the motherboard socket matches your CPU. 2. Choose the right chipset chipset determines features like overclocking, PCIe lanes, and connectivity options. Intel chipsets, Z-series, best for high-end, overclocking builds for example, Z790, Z690, B-series, mid-range, no overclocking for example, B760, B660, H-series, budget, limited features for example, H610. AMD chipsets, X-series, high-end with overclocking for example, X670, X570, B-series, mid-range, often supports overclocking for example, B650, B550, a series, entry-level, no overclocking for example, A520. 3. Form Factor ATX, Micro ATX, or Mini its attacks, standard size with more features and expansion slots. Micro ATX Matex, smaller, fewer expansion slots but still good for most builds. Mini ITX, compact, ideal for small builds but has fewer ports and slots. Make sure the motherboard size fits in your PC case. 4. RAM support check the maximum RAM capacity and speed the motherboard supports. DDR4 versus Druder5, modern motherboards may support either DDR4 or Druder5, so choose accordingly based on your memory type. Ensure there are enough DIMM slots for the amount of RAM you want typically to 2 for slots. 5. Expansion slots and PCIe support if you plan to use a dedicated graphics card. Ensure the motherboard has a PCIe by 16 slot, preferably PCIe 4.0 or 5.0 for better bandwidth. Check for additional PCIe slots if you need to add extra components like sound cards, Wi-Fi adapters, or capture cards. 6. Storage options, SATA and M2 M.2 slots. For high-speed SSD and VME, ensure the motherboard has enough M2 slots for your storage needs. As ATA ports for traditional SSD and HD disks, ensure the motherboard has enough SATA ports for your drives. 7. USB ports and connective it accounts the number of USB ports USB 3.2, USB 3.1, USB dash C closing parenthesis dot internal headers. If you have front panel USB connectors on your case, check for internal USB headers. Thunderbolt. Some high end motherboards support Thunderbolt, useful for fast external devices. 8. Networking, Wi Fi, and Ethernet if you need built in Wi Fi. Make sure the motherboard has it or you can add a separate Wi-Fi card. Check the Ethernet capabilities. Gigabit Ethernet is standard, but some boards offer 2, 5G or even 10G Ethernet for faster networking. 9. Audio quality If you care about sound quality, check the onboard audio chipset. Higher-end motherboards often feature better audio components such as Realtek ALC1220 or better. 11. Aesthetics and RGB IF aesthetics matter to you, some motherboards come with built-in RGB lighting or headers for connecting additional RGB components fans, strips, etc. Closing parenthesis. Look for sleeve cables, color themes, and matching components. 12. BIOS features and offensor The motherboard has a user-friendly BIOS or UEFI for easy configuration and overclocking. Some high-end boards offer features like BIOS Flashback, which allows you to update the BIOS without a CPU installed. 13. Budget entry-level boards, great for budget builds or non-gaming PCs, typically priced under $100. Mid-range boards, good for gaming or content creation, priced between $100 and $250. High-end boards. Offer premium features like better VR MIS, multiple PCIe slots, and overclocking, usually priced above $250.
Conclusion's best motherboard for you depends on your CPU, your needs gaming, content creation, or general use and budget. Always ensure the motherboard is compatible with your chosen CPU, GPU, RAM, and case size before making your purchase.